best supercars you won't believe are electric. After the impressive success story of Tesla cars, more and more automotive experts claim that the future of auto manufacturing is electric. Teslas are, in fact, blisteringly fast, and electric vehicles have quite a few advantages over internal combustion engines. Let's just remind that instant torque everybody's talking about. But can electric cars compete with the aggressively sounding supercars we all have grown to like? Well, electric cars are quiet, but there are at least 10 vehicles that can make you fall in love with the extreme performance that all electric supercars have. Let's take a closer look. Pininfarina H2 Speed Mahindra, Indian multinational automobile manufacturing corporation, may use the technologies of the newly acquired company called Pininfarina in order to create a worthy competitor for the rapidly expanding sports EV segment. Recently, the designers and engineers at Pininfarina reveled H2 Speed, a sports car that uses hydrogen fuel to power two massive electric motors. Such technology was developed and tested by Green GT, a Swiss company that has spent years on researching the application of hydrogen fuel cell technology in performance cars. As a result, Pininfarina H2 Speed setup is capable of producing about 500 horsepower and pushing the car from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds before reaching a top speed of 186 miles per hour. NIO EP9 Next EV, a Chinese car manufacturer presented NIO EP9, their first version of the megawatt electric hypercar. This electric vehicle was designed and engineered in collaboration with Formula E specialists, who helped NIO EP9 to become a car that belongs to a very short list of road legal vehicles with over 1300 horsepower. The carbon fiber monocoque positively reflected on the overall weight of the car, and 3825 pound EP9 is brought into motion with the help of four electric motors, one for each wheel. As a result, this hypercar is capable of hitting the speed of 62 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds and continuing up to the top speed of 195 miles per hour. The installed interchargeable battery system can guarantee up to 265 miles of continuous driving and comes with a quick charge option technology that needs only 45 minutes to be restored to the 100% charge. Vanda Electrics Dendrobium Vanda Electrics, an automotive engineering company from Singapore, has taken on a very ambitious project called Dendrobium. This project is supposed to bring to the market the meanest all-electric hypercar. It seems that if Batman was looking for an all-electric version of his Batmobile, Dendrobium would be the perfect match. To have the slightest chance of turning this ambitious project to reality, Vanda Electrics teamed up with Williams Advanced Engineering to create a lightweight carbon fiber body for this two-seater hypercar, the body that is supposed to provide incredible aerodynamics. Thanks to the all-electric drivetrain technology by Williams Engineering, this hypercar will be capable to count up to 1500 horsepower. With such technical specifications, Dendrobium is expected to hit the 62 mile per hour speed in less than 3 seconds and drive at speeds close to 250 miles per hour. Despite such performance characteristics, Dendrobium should still manage to go close to 250 miles on a charge, owing to the installed 100 kWh battery pack. Dendrobium is a testament to the pursuit for concept, design and assembly of the highest order, but Vanda Electrics doesn't want to leave this car on the concept level of development, but Vanda Electrics doesn't want to leave this car on the concept level of development and plan to put it into limited production by 2018. Lucid Air Lucid Air is a premium electric sedan that was produced by a Sino-American startup called Lucid Motors. In case you missed it, Tesla Model S is the only premium electric sedan that is worth mentioning today. So Lucid Air will face tough competition right off the bat. 
Lucid Air, which is expected to hit the market in 2018, will be brought into motion with the help of two electric motors, one on the front axle and one on the rear. With a combined power output of over 1000 horsepower, Lucid Air will hit the speed of 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds and provide similar mind-blowing acceleration to the limited top speed of 195 miles per hour. Unlike many other electric cars out there, Lucid Air will fully cope with the range anxiety problem to offering either a 100 kWh or 130 kWh battery pack. The first option will be able to provide up to 300 miles of range, while the second, more powerful option will last for about 400 miles. Although Lucid Air offers an above-average driving range, the batteries will eventually have to be charged. Luckily, you won't have to spend a lot of your precious time thanks to the supported fast charging option. Just like in the Tesla, the driver will be treated to a wide array of high-tech features inside the car. This electric car will also have all the right tools to make autonomous driving possible, as it comes with a LiDAR, several radars and motion cameras. Inside, the passengers can be treated to an unprecedented comfort via rear executive seats that have up to 55 degrees of recline. This luxury option offers a first-class aircraft seating experience in the back of the car. Lucid Air seems to have combined the exhilarating performance and some of the most comfortable riding experience on the market. The Air Spring was successfully combined with the active regenerative valve technology and a low center of gravity to deliver an unprecedented level of comfort and precise handling. Lucid Air is already open for pre-orders. For $25,500, you can reserve a car from the first special edition series. There will be only 225 launch edition cars created. The post-launch edition vehicles will be produced and shipped a bit later, but you can reserve one of these for only $2,500. The final car options and pricing, however, will be finalized closer to the start of production. Rymek Concept S Rymek Automobili, a Croatian car manufacturer, has already proved many EV skeptics wrong by presenting their record-beating electric supercar. Their first creation, Rymek Concept 1, is 1,088 horsepower electric supercar that could go from 0 to 62 miles in just 2.6 seconds and just 6.2 seconds to reach the speed of 125 miles per hour. But engineers at Rymek somehow didn't think that it's enough, so they kept improving the vehicle and released the latest modification under the new name, Rymek Concept S. The first noticeable upgrades can be spotted on the car's interior as it received a set of new aerodynamic body parts, bigger spoiler and air intakes. The latest modifications made the car almost 100 pounds lighter and enhanced the downforce over 30% to reach higher levels of grip. The performance characteristics underwent an upgrade too. The total output of all the electric powertrain was increased by 296 horsepower and by 147 pound-feet of torque. The reduced weight, combined with more torque, power, downforce and grip, result in a track-ready package on the highest level. It should be also noted that the torque vectoring system became even smarter, so now it masterfully manages the available 1384 horsepower and 1325 pound-feet of torque to show the 0 to 62 acceleration time of 2.5 seconds and reach the top speed of 226 miles per hour. The higher performance puts more pressure on the driver to guarantee the best available safety both for the driver and passengers. Five-point racing harness and bucket seats were introduced. Concept S is all about driving fast and breaking records while doing so. To make sure the driver gets maximum performance at all times, engineers developed an infotainment system which constantly generates relevant performance-oriented information. Faraday Future FF01 Faraday Future is one of the newest players in the electric vehicle niche. But their first prototype car was astonishing enough to create quite a lot of buzz around this manufacturer. Faraday Future FF01 is the electric sports car with unseen-before performance characteristics. With a total 1000 horsepower output from four electric motors, 
If the car takes just 3 seconds to reach the speed of 62 miles per hour and can easily drive at breakneck speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. This racing EV was built on a multi-use modular platform that is expected to be used by the company for producing all-electric sedans, SUVs, crossovers and even trucks. All these products are very likely to compete with products of such internationally known manufacturers as Tesla, Volkswagen, Chevrolet and BMW. Porsche Mission E Concept The German automotive manufacturer DRING HCF Porsche AG has recently announced their E strategy and the first 100% electrically powered Porsche is now on its way. Quoting Dr. Oliver Bloom, chairman of the executive board, Porsche is beginning a new chapter in the history of the sports car. This vehicle is due to come off the production lines by 2020 and promises to satisfy even the most demanding electric car fans. Mission E will be a four-door, four-seat sports sedan with the resembling design of the iconic Porsche 918 Spyder Super Sports Car and the height of only 4 feet and 3 inches. The front will be highlighted by matrix LED headlamps with integrated sensors. The back has slick black glass finish and mirrorless exterior completes the composition. Porsche's first all-electric car will be equipped with two PSMs or permanently excited synchronous machines. These are electric motors with unprecedented power density, efficiency and performance. With a total power output of 2 PSMs on the front and rear axles of more than 600 horsepower, these engines will be capable of accelerating the vehicle from 0 to 62 miles per hour in mere 3.5 seconds, from 0 to 124 miles in 12 seconds and reaching the top speed of 155 miles per hour. Lucky owners of Porsche Mission E will be able to take this lightning-fast sports car on trips of up to 300 miles on a single charge. Moreover, this exceptional driving range will be topped with a fast charging capability that restores 80% of the battery in just 15 minutes. All these top specs require a state-of-the-art construction, and Porsche's Mission E's design is just that combination of various materials like carbon, steels and carbon fiber contribute to a lightweight but durable frame. Low center of gravity gives a really sporty feel while driving and large 22-inch rear and 21-inch front wheels ensure high lateral dynamics and stability. So can Mission E deliver and join the all-electric cars club? We will have to wait and see. Quant FE The futuristic look of Quant FE sports car is being completed by not less futuristic technology that powers its electric motors. Nano flow cell technology generates electricity from the ionic fluid half positively and half negatively charged. The electricity is then transferred to the four electric motors that power each wheel with a peak output of 1090 horsepower and 2130 pound feet of torque. With the specially adapted automatic transmission, Quant FE can go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds and drive at speeds close to 190 miles per hour. Quant FE will also be able to overtake electric cars that use standard lithium-ion batteries with its range. With a full tank of ionic fluid, this vehicle can go about 400 miles. Toroidian 1MW Approximate price 1.5 up to 3.5 million dollars. The Toroidian is one of the world's first megawatt hypercars. Created by the Finnish engineers, Toroidian MW1 uses a high performance powertrain that consists of four electric motors to produce the 1341 horsepower output. Each wheel is powered by its own motor, so with such setup, car is capable of accelerating from 0 to 248 miles per hour in 11 seconds. Despite being incredibly powerful, this high-performance concept vehicle has yet to prove its reliability by enduring a 24-hour Le Mans race, which can turn out to be the first serious real-world test. 
According to the manufacturer, the revolutionary high-performance powertrain that was developed by Turodian and was first tested on MW1 is scalable and adaptable, so it can be effectively used in the future production of all-electric cars, trucks and motorcycles. The incredible retro-style elements of the exterior are supported by unique butterfly doors and minimalistic interior design. After looking at this vehicle, surely you wouldn't expect it to use the futuristic all-electric powertrain. Toroidian seems to be a perfect fusion of the classic design we love and the futuristic electric car technologies. Moreover, the car's production process is not less futuristic than its technical specifications. Engineers at Toroidian use 3D printing technology in order to craft certain parts of the vehicle's frame and interior details. Toroidian LTD also claims to have developed a new technology that may solve the problem of insufficient duration of batteries. Although the developers haven't stated how long their batteries are charged, they did say that MW1's powertrain is built in a way that allows a rapid battery swap from the empty battery to the fully charged one. So we can but wonder whether it's yet another revolutionary technology or just something similar to Tesla's battery swap option. Right now, it seems that Toroidian MW1 is very likely to go past its concept stage. The representatives of the company claim that the production model is already at the productization phase as far as the electric powertrain is concerned, and the current production lines will be able to produce up to 75 units of one MW hypercar per year. Renault Trezor Renault has entered the competition for making the best electric sports car by releasing the Trezor. It's a concept EV which is equipped with an electric motor technology that has been tested by the Renault racing team in Formula E. This very electric motor makes 350 horsepower and 380 newton meter of torque and is powerful enough to push the sports car from 0 to 62 miles per hour in less than 4 seconds. The electric motor is powered by two batteries that are using their own cooling systems to guarantee maximum performance. Body components that were made of carbon fiber prototype positively influence the overall weight of the car, while the Formula E type regenerative braking system helps to fill up the batteries on the go and increase the overall range. The last thing everyone should know about this car is that it doesn't have any doors and in order to get inside, the drivers have to lift the upper part of the vehicle. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like this video, feel free to check out some of our previous releases or hit that subscribe button to get notifications when new content comes out. Do not forget to like and leave a comment below to let us know what top list you would like to see in the next episode. You can also follow our second channel, Automotive Territory Daily News, to stay up to date with the latest automotive releases around the world. Just follow the link in the description below.